Hello guys, how are you all? It's been long time we have recorded a maximum learning session. So today I thought of recording one session for the labor on a labor rate contract application. So as you all know, labor rate contract application. Uh, what is what are the benefits of using labor rate contract application? Um, I think most of you already aware. So let let me just uh, give brief explanation on uh, labor rate contract application. So basically, the labor rate contract application provides uh, flexibility uh, for having a, a labor with of of the contract labor from the contract. That's a kind of a outside labor you are uh, having for your own company. So that is uh, going to be a flexible for you. So uh, based on the contract and uh, based on the labor, so these records you are going to have there. And contract is negotiable with the vendor for individual craft, skill, and labor as required for your company. So let's start hands on now for the labor rate contract application. So on the left side, navigation panel under the contracts module, we have a labor rate contracts application. Click on it and uh, we are going to uh, make a new contract so we are going to have the contract for the electric work and uh, we are going to have this contract for one year so 2023 and 21 and the renewal date I, I will give 2023 January 22 we can have escalation which will notify when the contract is expiring and uh, we will have the contract with the vendor CMC And the total cost of the contract, the estimated cost of the contract is 150 euro. So this is the negotiated uh, amount with the company CMC. And let's show this record. And under the properties tab, so we are going to have the vendor termination allowed as well as the customer termination allowed. Vendor termination allowed is something that vendor will notify unexpectedly he can inform us that he is going to end the contract so he should inform us 90 days before and customer termination a lot we will have it 30 days so 30 days before the ending the contract we are going to inform to vendor that we are terminating the contact with him, contract with him and in extendable this is of course this contract is going to be extendable clear mutual agreement extension bread so extension bread we will have the 30 days extra so before extension is allowed so 30 days we will have and uh, okay next uh, so we will go and check in the rate schedule what fields we can fill up there so basically in the rate schedule you are going to have the what are the crafts and what all what is the skill level whether a first class or second class what is the craft type of the labor that you are going to have for this contract so now for uh, this contract what we are making right now with the cmc so we will have electrician electric craft with the first class skill and so here we have mechanical first class and let's do okay so electrician and mechanist so we both the skills of the level is first class so this company is going to provide the labors of having these skills to us 
and as being a customer in the associate labor before we go to the associate labor we can go to the terms and conditions and we will see these are the default terms and conditions which have came from the terms and conditions application there we uh, we can define for which application what terms can be used so by with these terms we can have another term here so for this contract we will have the notification of hazardous product so that term also we will have these are terms and conditions which are mutually agreed between the cmc and b as a customer and we are going to save this and uh, before i associate a labor to this contract so uh, we will make we will make this record active we have agreed with the cmc that uh, this type of skills and with this amount and with these terms and condition and uh, these properties when it is going to expire we are going to make a new extension of this contract so with this mutual agreement uh, with the vendor we uh, we we got an approval from the customer so in our organization we are making this contract as a iq here approved so let's make it approved and give okay and uh, once it is approved and the company has informed you that uh, so and so labor is going to work with our company so we we got the labor name also for that so i'm going to say that labor name here to you so this is the thomas barry he is the person who is going to work from the cmc to our company as a electrician so i am i am adding over here and under the crafts so um, they have informed us that he is a first class electrician and he, he is having the valid certificates so that he has a right to work as an electrician uh, so we are writing and the rate of this is 27 that is agreed between them so here we have the inherit rate from contract so when this checkbox is checked the value from the labor rate contract will be considered otherwise from the crafts application the rate value will be considered under the in work order so now we are checking this so to consider this let's go let's show this record Uh, friends we missed one important thing here before we go to work out our application so we we would need to define the standard rate for the crops so for doing this change because this labor rate contract is already approved now to make the change to the standard rate so we will make uh, we will revise this contract now Okay, we will give the revision description and uh, we give okay now these fields are editable here for the electric work it is 27 for the craft first class craft and the standard rate for mechanical machinist so it is going to be a 30 usd and uh, we will save this record and now we are going to make this contract approved so once this contract is approved we will go to the work order application and this labor what we have over there is ready now so we are going to take one of the WAPPR so there are no work orders let's make one work order quickly let me add one location over here and and electric work and uh, work type we are going to define as corrective maintenance so basically our uh, session is not for the work order right now so we are making a record ready for the 
to associate a contract contract labor so in in the task for work order click new row and the task is 10 electric work and uh, let's show this and here under the labor select craft and we are going to have the electric craft for this work and the vendor is double one five eight the one vendor is CM with CMC vendor so that is still we are adding over here once we have added the craft we are we need to add the task the task is electric work which is above here so once I added here you can see that value has inherited the labor rate the craft value has inherited the standard rate has inherited from the labor rate contract application okay let's save this record and uh, now we can go to the assignments so under the assignments we are going to mention which labor is going to work for this so under the assignments we are mentioning that thomas barry who is the contracted labor outside labor from the company cmc so we are mentioned we have we have added the labor over here so once it is done we will approve this work order right now click on change status approved you okay now we will go to the labor reporting application to report the hours against this work order we will make a note of this work order number over here so let's go to the labor reporting application work orders labor reporting and uh, we uh, let's make it very simple by having it as an enter by work order so here we uh, we know the work order number so let me add that work order number here and under the task we can give the work order task and select labor so we know the labor who is the labor for this so let me filter that with the it's the Thomas Barry with the CMZ so this person we are going to add over here you okay and uh, he has worked for six hours so we have reported six hours for this labor and the line cost has calculated by the system here and we will give okay yes we need to enter the valid gl account over here so let's fill the gl account here so maintenance and then then we will add this generating meter and we will give okay and give okay over here as well okay so let me clear the end time also here and uh, we will be okay right now so as you can see here the vendor which we have created is the the labor entry here so he has finished the working start date and end date six hours to date total 62 and against the work order the mentioned work order here okay is from the contact double one five eight so now what we are going to do is we will approve this labor entry so it will not allow here first we need to select the entry which we are going to approve select this checkbox approve labor so basically it is 
saying that our contracted value that uh, you remember guys we had mentioned 150 is the usd dollar as an estimated cost but it has exceeded that's why it is mentioning to value was a 150 double one five eight that contract is exceeding by 12 usd so let's go okay for this so we have approved the labor now we can make an invoice for this that we are going to pay to the vendor for vendor cmc that as this labor has worked from them as part of the contract so we would need to make an invoice for this let's go and under the more actions so yes select this entry which is approved right away so you can see here approved checkbox is checked and now we are going to make an invoice against this so invoice for electric work let's do okay that's all guys uh, with the today's session today in today's session we discussed the labor rate contract and uh, the usage of the labor rate contract in the uh, work order application so where we uh, once uh, we we plan the labor in the uh, in the work order task for the work order task and uh, how we report uh, the labor hours in the labor reporting application and uh, that we saw in the labor reporting application how we enter the labor hours against the work order how we can report hours for that and uh, we also saw that uh, how can we approve the labor reporting entry as well as how we can make the invoice for the outside labor from the contract so that's all for today's session thank you Hope all you have enjoyed our session. Thank you.